Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project. Eh. So, uh, today I want to do making sure that I drew the... Co oh, we're going to color in the uh, eggs. And we're going to be looking at how they look when they are fully colored. So that's my goal for today. Um, I hope you're going to be enjoying this. And uh, let's get started, shall we? Man! Ugh! Last two days were a little bit too difficult. Uh, one of the things was actually that, well, yesterday I actually celebrated, yes, but um, that was not all the things. I had to deal with other things, like at home there are some issues that sometimes uh, can, uh, can occur when things don't go the way they are planned to go, and that, you know, gives stress in the house. And, uh, I'm happy that's now all over, but... It does mean that now that we are, you know, uh, that we're now approaching the, um, I do say this, now that we are uh, approaching the, uh, now that we're approaching the other things, I'm very happy upon uh, how I managed, uh, how I managed it. It was very hard, don't get me wrong there, and uh, the main issue was that a lot of it was uh, a bit of a, a big issue later on. So, uh, yeah, um, we should go for, well, we can go, are we going to go for this? Probably yes, right? We can go for that and then just go for 3.6, yeah. It calls things in, right? Does it color things in? Oh, it does color things in. How oh, nice. I just have to press it a little bit harder. But, uh, yeah, um, a lot of issues have occurred. And um, I'm very happy that now those issues are gone. Uh, and it it took me a while, honestly. The most issue that I had with it was that, you know, I had a little bit of a uh, problem with understanding the situation at all. And uh, now that that is all fixed and I understand what is going on, I'm very happy that it all is going the way it, it's supposed to go. Of course, I should uh, be more happier if it would not be happening in the first place, but, you know, you can't be choosers upon that. Oh, hell no. So, yeah. Um, we're going to lower this down, and now we can see more. Now we can see even more better than before. That's always good. What I'm now doing is actually just coloring, uh, coloring in the first uh, color, and then, you know, go forward with the rest. I'm thinking I'm going to go for brown and then, you know, a little bit more br uh, bash in uh, inside of it. You know, combine that with the red. But first I want to have the main color done so that I can see where the hell we're going to go from. Or go for. So yeah. I have been quite busy. My head is a little bit too, flo uh, too flooded. These two days. Ugh. First finishing the project, and now then, you know, the unsuspected surprise. They all are issues that, you know, um, are things that can uh, put me onto stress and then cause me to lose interest in certain things. And, uh, you know, I like to prevent that from happening. Um, but uh, enough of that talk. Let's continue working on the uh, working on this bad boy. The the main problem with the with these eggs were you know the co uh, the drawing not the coloring the coloring is actually the most easiest part here. It's just yeah you know I'm gonna be taking my goddamn time on this. Uh, one of the reasons is to clean my head. The other reason is just because you know I like to do that. I always like to do that. You know, just take my time, work my way upwards, and then you know then after that, then only then, get the rest on it. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody had a good lovely day today, because uh, today was actually quite sunny here. Uh, normally it's raining all day long, but somehow it was sunny, and it was not like sunny sunny, no, it was like hot sunny. So it was like burning hot. Um, I didn't burn my, I didn't burn my skin luckily, so that's good to know, but that means that the summer sun is almost kicking in again. <clears throat> which means the winter, uh, which means that the winter is now finally over. 
and I'm very happy upon that. Should be, but, you know, because, you know, it's already Easter, but... It's important that I do this, anyway. Mm. But, yeah. Man. Phew. Could you imagine that, you know, being stressed out because things don't go as planned? Yeah. Sometimes this is a little bit of an issue. But I always think, like, alright, it will be over, and I'll just wait it out. And that's always the best bet. Sometimes you can just wait it out, and you sometimes you can just wait it out anyway. But if you can't, then well, you know, you need to find other ways to relieve yourself, otherwise things go bad. Um. So, um, this Easter uh, at Monday, I assume then that's when it is Easter the second time. Yeah, second Easter. I'm gonna go with my whole damn family to a restaurant and. Uh, Eat some uh, Chinese uh, Chinese Indian food, and uh, it's gonna be like three hour, hour uh, a three hour uh, three hours of doing that. So that's gonna be amazing. Of course, you're gonna get free drinks, free food, and nothing uh, and nothing to complain about, which is gonna be uh, very nice. Now, hopefully, you know everything is gonna go well that day, but uh, probably, yeah, probably it will. The main issue that I have today is that, you know, I'm a little bit exhausted. Yesterday I was exhausted from the project, and today I'm exhausted from the aftershock of, like, ah, oh, that all happened, you know, that kind of idea. But uh, today, I must say, though, I'm very happy uh, that all of this is now finally come to an end, and uh, I can now finally happy celebrate upon what I wanted to celebrate in the first place. And I finally succeeded in drawing the second OC for the visual novel. And then, you know, after that I'm going to be working on getting more expressions done for her, so that we then can, you know, add that into the visual novel as well. The Moth Project, the Moth Hoffman Project is, of course, also a project that I need to keep on working on every day, every day. But, um, not every day I have time, and sometimes I do want to switch up because, well, you know, it's better to switch up sometimes because of uh, issues. Like tomorrow, I probably will be working on the visual novel, the writing part again. I'm going to be probably just doing it in all, all, all time, all peace time, so I'm just going to be doing it peacefully. Add a thing in it, a little bit, here and there. And I will do that like 12 o'clock after, you know, doing some, playing some video games from 9 to, to uh, from 9 to 12. So that's a thing. And then the first of Easter. Uh, do I have anything to do then? No, probably not, but... I also will take that as a day off because phew, I am tired as hell. And I don't mean it as a bad thing, I just mean it like, you know, being tired is not always a bad thing. It means that you did something and therefore, you know, you need to recover from what you did. In my perspective, it is, you know, working with, you know, my mind on fixing all the stuff that happened, just happened and, you know, putting it all into one place. One of the major issues that I had with uh, one of the major issues I had with you know the with the expressions when starting from uh, from yesterday when I was like, oh, is this well good enough? Is this good enough? And I'm like, well, it's better than than it looked before, so it's better. And I must say that that is actually a thing that I really like about it. the The whole idea of you know fixing up. Uh, fixing stuff from point A to point B is a nice, nice issue. Also, to learn proportions is like uh, a very nice thing to have learned in the first place. You know, facial proportions. Right now, I still need to learn how to do body proportions, but that will go. That will go naturally once I once I have the whole facial expressions done. I can just and then focus on the bodies, and then you know get that up and running as well. 
And in the meantime, you know, fixing the drawings, fixing fixing the writing, making the writing better, then fixing the writing in the in the in the word document so that you know everything will be better for for it, and that will you know uh give me more uh, leeway. It will give more me more clearances to get everything up and running properly. So, um, yeah, that's the thing I really uh, am looking forward to once uh. Once the first chapter, once the fir once the first chapter is fully completed, uh, yes, it might be looking like it's completed, but it is not. There are key things missing in that conversation that I still need to fix and put in there, and I need to do that with uh with as clean as possible. And therefore, you know, I need to take time for that, and I cannot do that in one hour. I probably need like three hours to work on it, but uh, oh well. But yeah. I'm very happy upon what I have achieved already. All of this nice, all of this, you know, all of this will be eventually, you know, better. Visual novels normally, you know, work with uh, puzzles, puzzles or something like that, and I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna make it puzzly. I'm just gonna make it like an original, just book. You can read it, and I will see the visual novel more as a picture thing. Like, you know, a picture book. And there is nothing wrong with that, you know? Sometimes, sometimes simplicity can also be a good thing. Sometimes specialize in something and then, you know, the specialization goes to waste. It's, uh, it's a waste of time. But, of course, you know, I'm not going to be putting everything in just saying, like, ah, well, I'm not going to put any effort in that and then, you know, say that, yeah, it's just a book. No, 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 no. I'll try to put something in there, just, you know, for the, the people to be playing around with or fool around with. Like, you know, alternative stories, and then find, you know, certain types of uh, items, and then, you know, put the alternate alternate story in there as well, once that is done. Or put different stories in there, into one story. And then that will be like, you know, a l little secret that it's like, oh, I can now read this, or I can now read that. And then, you know, the whole damn thing resets, and then, you know, it says a different title, for instance. That would be a fun thing to do. Be like, oh, well, you know, I don't have to do puzzles, but if I, if I look for certain types of items or clues, I can just, you know, press, uh, press a keypad, and then, you know, for instance, open the door, or get some additional information which is nice all right now um where was i oh yeah eggs since that it is easter i was like well why not work on the eggs anyway it cannot harm it won't i already have the door open so that if my dad is actually coming home from his bike ride it's Probably, you know, I need to open the door, I need to cut it off today anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do my very best here to get uh, get the X fully colored in nicely between the lines, making sure that everything is working fine, and then, you know, improve upon myself. The most issues that I had with, you know, uh, this, uh, the, the, uh, the, the weeks, uh, this week at, at all is like, you know, all the things that just happened, like, you know, you cannot always do everything the way you want it to be. Like, you know, you cannot have, like, a normal day, normally. It's it's a thing that gets interrupted by other people, therefore, you know, you need to, you need to realize that and keep yourself, uh, keep yourself to it. But sometimes I always like to have, like, everybody would be like, oh, man, if I had a special day today, oh, that would be good. And I'm like, nah. Just an old-fashioned day of me doing absolutely nothing. That is the day. That is absolutely great. Sleeping out, eating, uh, satis uh, eating with satisfaction. You know all that stuff. That's the that's the, that's the good stuff. And that is me. You know that's that's lazy ass me just talking the way of how I like to talk. The same thing as I did uh, with, uh, you know, the celebration of my drawing. I might not have, I might not have, you know, be very excited to tell you about it. Probably I did not do it in the right excited way, but I was very happy upon it. I was very, very happy upon that I succeeded. And 
you know, later that day, I just actually celebrated it with a snack. What kind of snack? Well, just a, uh, well, a snack made by a local, uh, by a local, um, restaurant, you know, just, just an old-fashioned snack, just, you know, when you have fries, you have snacks with it. Well, I asked for a snack on a piece of bread, and I was like, damn, this is good stuff. And I mean, really, it was good stuff. It was like that, uh, uh, how do you say that, pork pastry? Probably that's the word. No, 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 pastry is not the right word for it. Um, it's, it's, it's pork, but it's a uh, rag out. Rag out? Rag out? Probably that's the word, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rag out. Uh, so it's a deep fried rag out. Uh, then you're wondering, like, how the hell do you do that? Well, um, there are some snacks here that do that, have that inside of it. And that makes it so damn tasty. And then, you know, you squished it on the a piece of bread and then eat it with mustard or whatever. I prefer not to use sauces because I like to taste the, the structure of the food and uh, the seasoning of it. So that's why I always prefer without any sauce or at least with as least sauce as possible. And it's also very healthy, so therefore, you know, no, de no problems there. The main issue that I had with... Uh, with getting to it though, I was I was like, oh man, I'm tired, and then I was like, came back home and it was like instantly it was that, it was eerie quiet. I was like not in the mood of you know normally uh, when I when I'm home, you have lo you know you have the dog barking, you have everybody talking properly, and that was missing that day. That was missing like a bloody damn fucking finger knife. I don't know if there is a finger knife, but it is missing like a finger knife. You know when you have your when you have your uh, when you have like your pointy finger and then your nail is a little bit too big, so you're like, whoosh! I can cut this air, you know, or I can I can cut this thread. Yeah, it was it was very airy. It was very uh, it was very eerie to uh, to like come into a house and then everything was like very like greetings. How have you been? And then nobody responds. Nobody responses. It was like ugh, ugh. It was not good for the home. It was not good for the home feeling or welcome home feeling at all. But eventually, you know, I'm happy now that 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 is all after. That's all gone because bleh, that is a thing I will never experience ever again, and I will definitely vote against it next time that it would happen. Because I cannot deal with that eeriness. I don't like it when things go very weird all of a sudden. When people don't make the right moves that they always do. Like, you know, everybody has their own patterns. You know, like me, I, I like to talk about everything and then non-stop talk, keep on talking until somebody says like, Hey, you should stop talking. And then I will say like, all right, uh, hi, I will stop talking then. I also like to talk, you know, straight to the point most of the time, and uh, some people don't like that as well. It's like, how dare you talk to me like that? Why are you doing this? Oh, and then, you know, I need to be like, ah, yeah, I need to make sure that I don't do that, right? Yeah, kind of forgot. But, yes, the, the whole... The whole, the whole thing went not in the way it's supposed to be. Like you know, everybody was quiet. Everything was like you know, yeah, but uh, yeah, now it's all gone. Now it's just old fashioned. Hear the birds singing. Hear no babies cry, and just you know, old fashioned me just drawing, and hearing only my drawing, which is good. I like to hear my. I like to hear my pencil scratching on the ta on the tablet. It's a little bit of me to the tablet, which is nice. But you know what I did today? I actually did actually quite a lot. Uh, today I actually went for a walk for six miles, so that's good. I uh, bought myself some drinks. Great drink, by the way. I uh, bought myself some juice, some old-fashioned ABC juice, which was a uh, is that. Uh, it's uh, normally it's a German, uh, a German, uh, uh, a German drink that uh, is like heavily orange, which is actually quite funny to look at. 
and it tastes super super sweet which is really good for me because i like sweet i like i like sweet stuff and um after that i uh, and i uh, bought myself uh, some items actually i bought myself a ele electronical uh, device it's a uh, it's a furnace and then you would wondering like where electronic device furnace yes I bought myself a German uh, furnace that is actually working on electricity instead of, you know, gas. Um, the main I, the main problem is that, you know, because of everything going on, uh, the gas prices have been climbed like too big for me to count. I don't want that. And I thought like, well, if I want to go, you know, uh, live on my own, I should definitely have a backup plan if things go very expensive. Therefore. I will buy such a thing. And I was like, you know, all right, what do I need more? Well, I need pants for it. Check. And I need uh, I need some uh, material I need some cleaning material to keep it clean. And uh, to keep the grease out. And uh, so far it was actually quite good. I really liked how it went. Uh the main funny thing about it is actually that it actually works quite well. It's uh, like a very uh black table of black tablet. With you know heating uh, heating electronics underneath it, and it can go pretty uh, high, even for electricity. And I can just you know put it into uh, uh, how do you say that? How the hell do you say that? Wait, the thing where you're supposed to place. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look this one up. I am not good with English words when I come to that. Stop contact. Stop contact, and then English, English. A wall, a, a wall outlet. Ah, a wall outlet, an outlet. Uh, all right, a wall outlet. I can put, I can, I can plug it into the wall outlet, and then boom. It just works. So no gas, nothing, and it is actually quite eco-friendly. So therefore, you know, I could technically charge it up with uh, sun energy or whatever, if I ever want that on, uh, if I want ever want that on my house. Of course, you know, the house is yet out of the picture because of the inflation here, but uh, <laughs> that's not gonna be going away for a long time. So I'm, I'll be stuck for a bit. But uh, no worries, no worries. I'll. I'll just make I'll just make I'll just make something up then in the meantime but uh, yeah I'm gonna be practicing on cooking on electricity because you know I want to I want to learn I want to know how to do it and then you know make myself familiar with it so that you know eventually you know once the once uh, the switch over needs to be done I can do it that's the idea and I'm um, gonna be probably cooking some stuff like rice because I like rice like food and i like food maybe soup even if i can make soup but uh yeah a lot of uh a lot of things happened uh today and i'm very happy that uh you know i did i did i did those things you know i uh i felt like i achieved something again like yesterday and that the achievement was actually quite happy with it then the six miles walk afterwards was like damn it's hot today and i'm wearing a sweater that's uh Jesus. Well, technically, I'm wearing a hoodie with sweater. Sweater with hoodie? I don't know. The thing that normally have has like a hoodie on it, but it is also called a sweater. Who difficulty? Ah, that's the main problem with my language. I don't have that barrier where English is going correctly. So, allow me to just double check. Allow me to just double check this one. Um, dip, dip, dip. Hoodie. Um, how do you say this one? Trey. Trey. Jersey. Is it called a jersey? What the fuck? All right, I didn't know that it was supposed to be called a jersey, man. All right. Apparently, it's called a jersey. Um, I wear jerseys, not sweaters. Then I wear jerseys normally. I guess 
that's the word. I didn't know that that was the word, but now it's the word, so I'll I'll stick with it. Google Translate, if you if you ever make me a fool of me, then uh, well, you know I'm gonna kick your ass. But until then, you know I'll, I'll trust you. I'll trust you on that one. But uh, yeah, jerseys. I uh, I wear them normally, and uh, normally I wear them until it's very hot and sunny. But today it was so goddamn hot. I was like, all right, um. I didn't expect it to be this hot this early, but uh, apparently it was. So, uh, good for them. Good for everyone. So, uh, yeah, I am very happy upon what happened and how it happened and uh, that I took that walk. It was actually quite uh, entertaining to see people coming by, passing by with their uh, cars and then, you know, work, uh, work in the way that I wanted to work in the first place. Ooh, that looks actually quite hypnotic. I like it. I like this. I like this. This is actually quite looking good. I like this effect. I like it. Of course, we're going to make sure that the effect is actually quite looking good, but first we need to make sure that the effect is only affecting the things that we want, and we're going to add in the shading afterwards. And that will be making things good. All right. Um. So yeah, I uh, I walked and uh, kept on walking. I saw some people. I saw even uh, one of my neighbors in the car, waved at them, and I was like, "Hey, my neighbor! I I know that you, I know who you are." And that was actually quite good. Jamming on the music uh, when walking, it's always great. Of course, no headphones because you know. Who the hell walks six miles in a place where normally you're supposed to drive with a car? Well, that's me. I do such things, because I like to do that. But, uh, yeah. All of this work, you know, all of this beautiful work, I, uh, I worked out a lot. I'm very happy upon it, and I'm very thankful I did it, because, uh... It cleaned up a lot of my mind. It uh, made sure that my mind was a little bit more or less uh, hectic than uh, it was uh, today. Whew. All right. So. Now that we're busy doing the egg, I must say I'm actually picking the right colors here, and that's nice. So, um, yeah. All of this work... All this hard on, hard old work, all done for just me and all the things I did, and I like it. Oh, I see. I made a mistake here. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. This needs to be gone. Now we need to remove that on this one as well. Alright. So yeah. I cleaned up my head. And I'm very help and I'm very happy about it that I did it. So, uh, what next, what next? Oh, yeah. So today I am working on making the axe look pretty. And uh, I can't wait to make sure that this is working quite well. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it in one go. But, hey, you know, just doing it in baby steps is also good. Because the more you do it, the better you get at it. Therefore, you know, you should do it like this. Hmm. Is it is it good to follow advice of me? Probably not. If you follow if you follow advice by me, then you know you probably end up in a gutter. <laughs> not to say that you can follow my advice. It's just you know not advisable, because you know I'm terrible at doing my advices. The advice that I always give is like probably you know contradicting most advices anyway. I'm just always very happy to give you advice, but you know. You should always get, get, take it with a grain of salt. And never take it literally, because... Pff, oh, boy. My mind is always, in the, my mind is always at, all, at all places at once, and that is the main problem. 
Therefore, my advices are a little bit uh, tricky sometimes. I should technically make a series about, you know, just the advice of the day, and then, you know, it's way too random. And that's funny. Alright, I should do that. But for that, I need some uh, editing skill, but I'll think, I'll think I can do that. I think that's a fun thing. The advice of the day, or just an advice of the week. Uh, advice of the week is more reasonable. And I have still some lead time left. Um. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm using the wrong color here. Yes, I do. Well, 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 well. So, yeah. A lot of this, uh, a lot of this work, you know, all of this, all this drawing work. It, uh, it does, uh, is, uh, well, it is very satisfying. Because the more I do this, the better it gets. The better it gets, it's, uh, the more, you know, things go good, uh, things go really well. And what I like about this is actually that, you know, the more you look at this drawing, the more it, the more it comes alive, the more I make more colors inside of it. And that, uh, that does make me, uh, very happy. Mm, I need to double check something here, just to make sure that the mic is correct. Because the more... Yep, it is correct. Uh, absolutely correct. I'm speaking at the right volume. Thank fucking God. Sorry about this. I'm actually, I'm actually double checking myself because just in case, and I'm very bad at, you know, double checking when I'm live. That's absolutely a horrendous rookie mistake, but, eh, you know, life is life. It's not like you can change it. Eh, unless you create tar time travel, and then you can just change it every single time, but, uh, I hardly doubt that people have invented that yet. Would be cool, though. Uh, let's see. So, um... What do I like about this already? Um, what do I like about this? Well, I do like the red, red thingy. It does it does give me a cool looking at, uh, effect. It gives me a hypnotic kind of feeling. It is uh, quite satisfying to look at such a red looking egg that just you know homes with energy it is uh quite satisfying to look at it uh it's it's a uh, it's like you know looking at a hypnotic uh, lo looking at uh, at a hypnotic hypnotode and then realizing that yeah that is whew. it's um i really like that uh, trippy kind of stuff when it comes to those things it 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 is it gives something special to it. It gives the it gives the draw it gives the drawing more a special feeling, and that feeling is of course normally lost when you do this. So therefore, you know, now it's no no longer lost. Therefore, it is more cool looking, more gentle looking, more better looking. Yeah. Either way, it does give the feeling of you know, the egg being special. And that is a thing that I like, especially upon these things. You know, they they feel like they feel like eggs. They feel like you know these crystal. Uh, they feel like these eggs that are you know from the Morphok itself, because of course the Morphok has also those eggs. Uh, has also those crystals in their in their wings. And that is, and that is actually quite cool. You know, having crystal wings with crystal ro uh, crystal eggs. You know, all of that stuff makes it more entertaining to watch more it gives you a better feeling a better understanding on how how the act's supposed to be behaving or how the act's supposed to be reacting like right now you have a more better understanding on how those acts exist and what they how they shape like and once we have all the colors in there the act will also be more uh structuralized they will they they look better they they feel better they feel like x instead of right now they 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 feel like you know more like better fight acorns which they're supposed to be representing but yeah the more i do this the better it gets the more better it gets the better it gets for me and therefore you know i am more improving upon my own self and that is the most important part so yeah, I like doing this. 
it does uh, it does give me a good feeling. And the more I do this, I hope uh, Hex is uh, one day uh, Hex uh, uh, one day you know sees this and then says like, yeah, this looks great. And of course, you know that's a, that's the a, that's the end goal, of course. But right now we cannot afford the end goal. Right now we are going back to uh, simple sticks and bones, just old fashioned, just drawing and coloring. Because the more we do this, the better it gets. The more, the better it gets, the better it will become later on. And therefore, you know, we are moving onwards. All right. So. How do you uh, achieve such an idea, such a drawing, such a good-looking egg? Well, you know, you just, you know, move on to fixing it. You just need to press on and continue moving onwards. It's one of those things that uh, is always a thing that is quite difficult to do anyway. The main issue that I always had with these eggs is like, you know, how do I start with this? And then, you know... Eventually, once you are at this point where you now need to color, it's like, all right, what kind of colors do I need? And then, you know, you have that problem. You have that conversation with yourself. And then after that, you probably will ask like your, yourself, like, all right, since then I have now the colors, what the hell do I need to do with this all? And then that's where, you know, that's where the outer goal comes in, like, all right, the X need to represent the Morphox X. Therefore, you know, it's supposed to have also the color scheme of the Morphog. It's not supposed to have the color scheme of the trees or the or the environment around it. No, it's supposed to be the color scheme of the Morphog, which is most likely brown, with brownish and darkish and beige and red. Therefore, we should definitely add that also in into our eggs, which normally is a thing. You know, uh, some birds actually produce pickled eggs or you know, colorized eggs. These eggs are actually quite handy dandy because that is actually a way of identifying which eggs are yours. Instead of having that sneaky little bird being like, oh, they're not me just placing my eggs here. They are definitely your eggs as well. And also these eggs are a little bit more looking like they're heavy or armored, which prevent them from being broken that early by predators. And I like that. That's a that's a nice little touch. All right, now we're moving on to the next one. That is this one right here, and then we're almost there with this color, of course. Um, -doo 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 this one right here. This one right here. So, the more we do this, the better it gets. And then once we're now moving onwards, we're now going to move to the woods where we need to be. And uh, tomorrow I will be working on my visual novel. And that's also going to be a thing, you know. Keep on making sure that I make progress. Work on it. Show the progress. Show the progress later on. Show the progress uh, while live streaming. Making sure that progress is done. Therefore, people are kept up with the uh, with the progress of the project. Same with the Morphog. Why do I most likely do every... Why I try as much as many times to show you the Morphog project? Because, you know, it's a project that needs to be done. And I like to live stream the project. Because I asked Hex if I, want to if I can live stream this, and he said yes. Take your time and make it. And I was like, alright, fine. I will live stream it, and I'll make it on the way, and then you can just watch it later. To see how your progress goes. And that therefore you know your satisfaction is actually quite well. And uh, man. I am very happy upon how far we are already at this. Especially with the Morphog. It is so much. So much time has been spent on just drawing. <laughs> and then finally be able to color again is like a. It's like a little bit of a blessing sometimes. I don't mind me just having an absence here. The yeah, don't want that. The main issue with this thing is always that you know, absences always are a little bit of an iffy 
thing to go for. But, you know, sometimes when you need it, sometimes these things happen. That's how you really re realize that I have been stressed out. Absences don't come very easily with me. Normally, they only come when there is a stressful situation or a thing that is always coming at the wrong time of the year. Luckily, you know, those absences are actually quite handleable, and then therefore, you know, I my only my head is turning, but hey, you know, better to uh, be safe than sorry, and just, you know, confront yourself with the problem, and then scream it out of your lungs that the problem has been fixed. Blech. Because the more you talk about it, the more natural it becomes, and therefore, you know, you don't have to shame or whatever, and it will fix the thing. Alright, now that we are done with this, I can now continue with the goddamn drawing. Alright, absence is gone, now I can continue. And, uh, yeah. Of course I already continued anyway, but, you know, in my mind, in my mind I have, I had to take a little break. With the thought of, uh, with the thought of, tra uh, train of thought, that is. Alright. So, uh, yeah. I'm very happy upon what we are already achieving, and how we are achieving it in the first way. Uh, the whole damn thing, the whole damn drawing itself, it will get better and better the more we do this. And, you know, the more we pay attention on this, the better it gets. Right now we only have, like, you know, the, the, the rough color of red, and then, you know, we need to put some lighting in there, some coloring, some shading, and then, you know, eventually we have these little eggs that just, you know, pop up. And then be in the grass, which is the end goal, of course. To get that end goal is uh, a little bit more of an issue sometimes. Because, you know, some people like to draw heavily detailed, some people like to draw lightly detailed, and both have their own charms. It's just, you know, it's sometimes a little bit difficult. And there we go, making this happening, this happening, and then we have this one right here to be precise. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. Now, um, as you can see, we have now already completed two colors of this uh, of these eggs. Um, what I wanted to do, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So what I want to do, uh, what I want to do uh, today is actually is my goal that was actually you know starting to color it in the eggs. That goal is already now almost completed. And then tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I will try to get, uh, try to get the Malfar project again running. Don't know how well I'm gonna do it, but I'll try. Yeah, I'll try. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a hard one. Uh, tomorrow I will be starting to try to uh, get the, uh, visual novel up and running. And then also tomorrow I will be trying to draw at, l at later at night um so at this time again and uh yeah that is most likely the things that i wanted to talk and right now we are almost done there you go there you go and that's it right yeah that's it all right now we have the colors on the reds so now we have these ready reddish colors that are you know very hypnotic but once we're once we're done and making them light light up and make them less darkish it would be more suitable for the drawing itself all right i'm gonna be saving this bad boy because that's necessary and uh i'm gonna call it a day now um yes i have 15 minutes left but as i said i have reached my goal post therefore I will quit. <clears throat> That's very important. To not get, not get overstressed or not overworked. So, um, yeah. So, today was actually quite productive. And uh, I'm very happy upon the result right now. Uh, it could use some uh, less uh, hypnotic red. But uh, that will be fixed uh, tomorrow, I hope. So, I hope you all have enjoyed for uh, today. And uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you a lovely day, and uh, 